Hi and welcome to another Star Stable video. Today's video is kind of an update together with some training because I just noticed a new update on Feargroove and it looks amazing already. They say it's not complete yet but so far it looks really really great. The cross country races have been updated and the Star Stable team did a really good job cleaning up all the machines and it seems that they added new obstacles to the races, so something tells me that Minka is very happy about this. Also there's a brand new outfit available at the city mall and it comes in 3 different colors. The set looks okay, I might get it in the future, but for now I'm just going to keep training Flutterfly, so let's go to the second part of this video. This is my second day training Fonty, and I am going to start in Fear Groove because I can't wait to see the new tracks and after, I am going to race all daily races available again and see what level I can reach on my second day of training. If you missed day 1 of training, I divided the first video in 3 parts and the links are in the description, so if you guys want to check it out, just check the description box. I am going to race in full gear today, I have to say that training without speed makes everything really hard so I'll just put my gear on today. Because on my first day of training, I decided to go without racing gear and things were very slow. Okay, so here we are. By the way, I am not going to speed up this part of the video because I want you guys to see the updated tracks, so let's get on to it. So that was cool, and even though it's the exact same trail, we can see that it's much more cleaner to race now. So let's go for the other two and see the differences.
So, honest opinion, I feel like it's much easier now to race and to improve your score in field group races. The terrain is smoother, the new obstacles look more natural now and I really love to see all the green without the machines. I think this is an awesome update for field group and it was about time because these tracks were seriously outdated, they look really cool, it's just perfect. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to race all three tracks again, but this time I'm doing it with one of my high level horses. I'm going with my Frisian and it has been a while since we raced together, so let's see how it goes. Okay, I am done here, I am really happy with this update, especially with what they did to the checkpoints, they have more detail and they are way easier to spot now, so yeah, congratulations to the team! I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about the update, let me know in the comments because I am really curious to know your, your opinion, I personally think that it's much easier now, but do let me know your thoughts. And with the new update covered, let's continue to train Fonsi. I am not including the full training in the video today, but I will show you my level when I am done. So see you in about 2 hours. So it has been 2 hours and a half and I have completed all my daily races as you can see on my map, except the pony race and I am level 10 now. 2 days of training and by doing all your daily races, it's really easy and fast to level up a new horse and I definitely recommend using gear with high stats because it makes everything easier and faster. And I am concluding this video, I will upload my third day of training soon. If you guys like my videos and you are not yet subscribed then please consider doing it, like this video if you can and leave me a comment with your thoughts and ideas. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on a Valentine's update. Thank you.